It's Straight Talk with Loretta Ray Show, and thanks for joining us. And do you like to bring awareness to your community? Well, on today's show, we're going to talk about it. We have Cheryl Johnson with West Central Georgia Cancer Coalition, and she's going to share with you about painting the town pink. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a great community event, and we need you to be a part in support. Stay around. It's Street Talk with Loretta Rose here on Bean TV. <music> Street Talk with Loretta Rose, and on today's show, our very special guest, Cheryl Johnson, talking about painting the town pink. It's that time of yes. the year again. Yes. yes. I love it. Awesome. Well, I want to say just thank you so much for your servitude, all that you put into this, not only this time of the year, but throughout the year, painting the town pink. You are the president and CEO and of this great event, West Central Georgia Cancer Coalition. I know, it's a mouthful. Yes, <laughs> but it is such a blessing to our community. Help the community to know, how did it all start? Wow. Um, I've actually been uh, with the organization, I remember, 20 years. At one point, I was working at the health department. So for five years, I was the marketing committee chair. And then um, five years, you know, I became the CEO. Uh, and I've been here for 15 years as the oh, president wow. and CEO. So this is truly has been a labor of love, but a ministry. Um, you know, just being able to give back to our community. Yes. And that all started uh, with my late father, Reverend Jesse Averitt, and my mother, who's still uh, alive. And just uh, being able to give back and be uh, a blessing. Wow. It's a blessing to be a blessing to others. Exactly. Yeah. And you are doing that. And this great event, it is um, a community awareness event, mm -hmm. but then it is a celebration of life yes. as well. Yes. Because yes. so many survivors are there. Mm -hmm. And I like to say this event is an event of hope. Yes. In our a, community. Yes, it's an event of hope. And you know, when you get that um, that uh, diagnosis, uh, we try to bring hope, sometimes in a hopeless situation, because previously, you know, when you heard the word cancer, it was doom and gloom. Uh, but but there are so many new uh, treatments and various things. And so, and even in our community, our uh, presenting sponsor, Piedmont Columbus Regional, they are uh, our presenting sponsor wow. and they are here helping us us and we help them uh, just trying to help treat our community. Wow, you know, I love it. And, and we serve 13 counties. 13? Yes, wow. so we're in Russell County, so we service Lee and Russell County in the Alabama area, and then we go as far north as Troop and Meriwether County, and as far south as Slide County, and all those other counties in, in between. between. And, the, and the funds that are raised from Paint the Town Paint, they remain right here in our community. 100% of those funds stay here to help uh, residents and people that are in our region. Wow. Yes, ma'am. That is a blessing, a yes, great community resource. Yes, ma'am. The event is going to take place Friday, October 20th. Yes. 6 p.m. Eastern. Yes, 6 o'clock. So for those that have never attended a Paint the Town 
pink event. Mm -hmm. What can they expect? Oh, music. <laughs> Lots of live music. We're going to have a survivor parade. Mm -hmm. And that survivor parade, we're asking the survivors to line up at 545 at our table, the West Central Georgia Cancer Coalition table. And they're going to parade around the park. And then uh, for the first time, we are trying, we are going to yes. do a human pink ribbon there at Woodruff Park. And so we're asking people to wear your pink and our t-shirts this year are pink. And so we're trying to get everyone there at 545 so we can uh, make this human pink ribbon. But let me back up and say the week of October 15th through the 20th is uh, Paint the Town Pink Week. And we're gonna get a proclamation oh, wow. from Mayor Lowe. Wow. And we're getting one in Columbus as well. Beautiful. And so uh, Phoenix City has always been supportive of our events uh, because we are partners you know, in, in this. And so on the 3rd of October, we will be there uh, getting our Congratulations. proclamation. Congratulations, yeah. well deserved. We're one, we are one community. Yes, we and are. And that's what I love about what you all do with this Painting the Pink and kudos to Phoenix City in Columbus yeah. for recognizing the gifts that we have in the community. You all are a voice for those that really don't have a voice. Yes, and the people that we serve are uninsured and mm -hmm. underinsured. And there are so many um, small business owners that do receive services. We provide free screenings for women and men that are in need uh, from breast to colorectal to prostate. We are that uh, resource in the community. Uh, when someone needs assistance, we will get them connected to the, wow. you know, to the right place. And just being um, an advocate and a navigator and navigating because when you sometimes receive a cancer diagnosis, you don't know where to go. Uh, we are that, that resource in the community to help people navigate. We have navigators, we have community health workers that are there. And uh, our event is just, just a family friendly event wow. to come out, celebrate life. Yes. And we're also going to honor those that are no longer on the journey. Wow. Yeah, Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, wow, I love it. It's going to take place Friday, October 20th, and it's going to be a 5K run in Wong. Yes. <laughs> so we want to let you know, those that register, mm -hmm. tell them how much, because this is all for a great cause, and it's going Absolutely. right back into your community. It's going right back into the community. Um, if you're walking with your team or what have you, it's $25. And then if you're running and you want to get time, it's $35. And the sign up is runsignup.com and you just type in paint the town pink Columbus and it'll pop up and you can get your team registered, you can get your sorority group registered, you can get your fraternity group registered. Guys, we, you know, real men wear pink. Yes. So we want you all out there as well. Um, this event is for everyone. Uh, children, uh, I think it's 10 and under, uh, don't have to register. They just come out with their parents, but they won't get a t-shirt. But if you want your child to get a t-shirt, it is, um, you would have to register and pay that $25. But it's not about the money. It is just mm -hmm. about being there for our community and making sure that everyone knows that we are a resource mm -hmm. in Russell County, Lee County, uh, and in the uh, tri-community. And so, Pay the Town Pink Friday, October 20th. We're gonna get started at 545. Six o'clock, the race will begin um, at 630. Our race will begin at 630. We try to kind of, you know, stay within a time frame mm -hmm. because it starts to get dark, but we've got lights along the route. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going up the river walk and back over into, um, back down behind the uh, trade center and so it's a great Beautiful. it's a great event yeah. and we if you want to volunteer you can go on the same run sign up uh get registered to volunteer uh because we have a volunteer coordinator that's kind of working uh through that it is it's it's a labor of love, oh, no. yeah. <laughs> but it is so much you know fun during this time of year because I get to see people like you come and talk with beautiful people yes. like you and just spreading the word, wow. spreading the ministry, the gospel yes, uh, yes. because that's what like we are it. supposed to do: take care of the least of these. And it's gonna wow. be a great event. Last year we had um, almost 500 people register. Uh, 
BC, which is before COVID, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, 2019, 2019, yes. we had almost a thousand, we, we did, we had a thousand people in attendance. It yes. was, it was phenomenal. And that was our 10 year anniversary. 10 year. Wow. So we need the church groups. That's right. We need you all to be a part of this. Mm-hmm. This is a, a great way for families yes. and ministries mm-hmm. and corporations that's right to give back mm-hmm. to your community i love it so we want you to be a part so how do they go about registering they can go to run signup.com and also i forgot it's not too late to be a sponsor mm-hmm. we are still taking sponsorships um as i said our presenting our pink platinum presenting sponsor is piedmont mm-hmm. uh, we have kinetic on board we have several others just go to the run sign up it shows mm-hmm. you all of the people that that are currently uh, sponsors. We are just truly grateful for our community. Yes. Runsignup.com, paint the town pink. You type it in, it'll pop up, and you just you know fill out the information and get your team registered. Uh, or you may give us a call at 706-660-0317. I have even walked people through how to get registered. Good. That's right. That's good. We have to help those that That's are right. not That's technological, right. that are not technological, you know, inclined like some right. of some of us. That's right. That's <laughs> yeah, right. Yes. Yeah, so we, we got to help out. We people. are um, also doing for anyone who may be uninsured and mm-hmm. needs a mammogram. We have partnered with. Um, we always do uh, with Dr. Kenneth Smith at John B. Emmons Cancer Center, and they would need to just call seven zero six. 660-9516 to get on our schedule, which is going to be the Tuesday prior to Paint the Town Pink. I want to say that's October 17th. Uh, that's the date for that. It's in the afternoon. So if you have to work, you can get an appointment. Darla Spencer is the contact. Again, that phone number is 706-660-9516. They will get a clinical breast exam, and if it's deemed necessary that they are in need of a mammogram, we will pay for the mammogram. Wow. So those, so in our community, no woman who is uninsured or underinsured should say, I cannot afford. Yeah. We just received a grant uh, from the state of Georgia to take care of women uh, to get uh, their mammograms done. And then we have donations for the people that are in Russell County and Lee so County. So no one, no wow. one should say, I can't afford it because that's why we're here. We are so grateful for you and this wonderful organization, what you all are doing. You're saving lives. We are saving You're changing lives. We are, that is our goal. This yes, is amazing. Yes, ma'am. For those that need to register, let us know of a deadline, if there's a deadline. There is a deadline to get your correct t-shirt size, and that is going to be October 10th. So if you're thinking, I may or may not, go ahead and get registered uh, because once we shut down the registration, you'll still be able to register. I forgot to tell you, October 13th or the 14th, the price increases by $10. Oh, okay. So we want to make sure that you go ahead and get registered early because the early bird gets the worm. That's right. (laughs) That's right. That's right. So getting it in in early. Uh, We started, you know, we're planning this all year because it is a labor, you know, it's a labor of love and it is a ministry. And we just try to make sure that everyone in our community knows that we're here not just in October, but 365 days of the year. Uh, we uh, The funds are not just for breast cancer for this event, it's for all cancers. So if someone's been diagnosed with prostate or colorectal or thyroid or any other cancer, the funds that are raised, we just capitalize on this event because October, 14 yes. years ago, mm-hmm. there wasn't any breast cancer walks, there weren't any you know things wow. going on. And so we just thought, hey, let's get out there, let's do something and yes. capitalize on pink and that's my favorite color. Is yes. <laughs> and she, just like she said, throughout the entire year, she is promoting awareness yes. for cancer. Yes. We just thank you so much. Thank you for so having proud me. Of you. Thank you so uh, much for having me. Such a blessing. You all don't want to miss it. Friday, October 20th, please go register. Mm-hmm. We want to have the information on the screen and we want to thank you, Cheryl Johnson for your service in the community. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure for being here. Absolutely, absolutely. It's the 14th annual Paint the Town Pink. You don't want to miss it. Be a part of it. Bring an awareness to your community. Thanks for watching. It's Street Talk. You're watching here on Being TV.